now that the 2023 NFL Combine is in the rearview mirror, a lot of mock draft experts will be having a post-Combine mock draft. And we've done quite a few of those this offseason already. We've done Mel Kuyper, his 1.0 and 2.0, and we've done Todd McShay's 1.0. And today we're going to look at Todd McShay's post-NFL Combine draft, where I can tell you right now that there's been a few changes when it comes to the number 6 and 18th pick for the Detroit Lions. Ironically, he switched. they switched positions. So when we get to it, you'll see... Not the same players. We have two different players. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing this video. And they also switch positions. So I'll let you see that for yourself. Now, the Detroit Lions, we need a lot of help on defense. We know that. Our defense ranked 29th overall at the end of the year, giving up almost 450 points, if I remember correctly. And we're going to have to do something when it comes to solidifying that defense and making it stronger. Now, rumors come out that Jalen Ramsey, the, the L.A. Rams may not trade him now. They're on the fence about it. And if they do, they either want a first-round pick or they want a second-round pick, kind of a package type for Jalen Ramsey. Along with his cap hit, they're not going to save a lot of money. So right now, the L.A. Rams are on the fence about Jalen Ramsey. I'm sure if the right deal came, they would probably make that deal happen. So the Detroit Lions might be out of the race for Jalen Ramsey, but they still need a cornerback. A lot of free agents will be coming up. Jamil Dean, Cam Sutton, a lot of guys that we could get in free agency to help us in the defensive back position. But let's take a look now at Todd McShay's, what I assume to be his mock draft 2.0 post NFL combine. This guy here has been mocked to us at pick six, mocked to us at pick 18. And after the combine, I'm pretty sure he'll go top 10. With the sixth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select, according to Todd McShay, Christian Gonzalez, cornerback, Oregon. I know I keep using the 6.2 yards per play number for the Lions, but it was the NFL's sixth worst number for the past decade. Armed with a pair of first rounders and a chunk of cap space, Detroit has to get better on that side of the ball. It has gotten up and down production from Jeff Okuda, the team's top three pick in 2020. And the other corner spot is open with Amani Aurorarie primed to be a free agent next week. At 6'1 and 197 pounds, Gonzalez confirmed the speed and explosion we saw on tape during the combine. He posted a 4.38 in the 40-yard dash and jumped 41.5 inches in the vertical and 11 foot one in the broad. And with four interceptions in 2022, he can make plays on the ball. Now, I agree totally with what Todd McShay said about needing help on that side of the ball. And we could possibly take a corner at six. I myself wouldn't mind a defensive end or a defensive tackle at six because I think that the defensive line will help the defensive backs. You don't need studs on a defensive backfield if you have a nice defensive line. So I'm okay with if we take Gonzalez at six, but I would rather see a defensive lineman of some sort. But that's just me. I love my defensive lineman, and we'll see what the Lions decide to do. In Todd McShay's mock draft 1.0, at the sixth overall pick, he had us taking Miles Murphy, a defensive end. So remember I told you that the positions were flip-flop this time, so that means we're going to take a defensive end with pick 18. Spoiler alert, but who will that defensive end be? Without further ado, let's get into it. With the 18th pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select, according to Todd McShay, Lucas Van Ness, defensive end, Iowa. We already gave the Lions a corner, so a mini run at the position won't affect them. They still need defensive support, so give me Van Ness. While he never started a game at Iowa, he played a lot for the Hawkeyes, averaging 450 snaps per season over two years. And Van Ness turned that into seven sacks in each season. Add that production to an edge rush that already includes 2022 picks Aiden Hutchinson and James Houston, and the Lions could be set to improve on the 39 sacks they generated in 2022, tied for 18th. It was no surprise when Van Ness tested well in Indianapolis, he has the quickness, power, and versatility to dominate in the NFL. While I like the fact that we went defense in the first round, I would really like a defensive end at six over a cornerback because I've always said the defensive line, if it's capable of creating havoc, getting in the quarterback's face, it will make an average defensive backfield even better. This might be a hot topic. I know a lot of y'all might come at me in the comment section, but Darius Slay 
is not as good as you might believe he is. In my humble opinion, I think Darius Slay, while he has the ego to be good, he's not as good as he seems. He has always benefited from a top defensive line. Even when he was with the Lions, and if you look with the Philadelphia Eagles, a lot of Darius Slay's opportunities are created by his defensive line. So we could have somebody who is, I'm not saying Darius Slay is average. He's a little above average to me. But if you have a quote-unquote average defensive backfield and you have an outstanding above average defensive line, you can create much havoc. The San Francisco 49ers, they got some guys in the secondary, but look at their defensive line. Nick Bosa is a force, and he alone is enough to create, to make anybody's jobs easier. So for me, I would much rather see a defensive end with that six pick over a defensive end at 18, but I'm sure Brad Holmes is capable of finding those hidden gems like Josh Pascoe or like Malcolm Rodriguez. So let me know, what do you think of Todd McShay's post-combine mock draft? in the comments below. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel because we talk Detroit Lions almost every day and we will have live coverage of the free agency when that opens next week. We also will be doing live coverage of all three days of the 2023 NFL Draft as the Detroit Lions look to make this defense better than 29th overall for 2023. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.